Well, here I am at the hospital. I gotta go in and have an epidural needle shoved in my back. That's gonna be fun. And uh, hopefully I'll survive this and I'll be back with you among the living. P.S. If I don't, if I don't survive this, I love you all. I really do. Keep your fingers crossed. Say a prayer. Something. I'm not, I'm not really scared though. I mean, it's, it's, it's really going to go great. It is. I just been tubed. I survived. I did. I survived. Ha <laughs> ha. But is my back any better? No! <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, yeah, my back's still bothering me. Uh, I'll survive. Always do. But if I show up and. I uh, where where you go? Where'd you where'd you go? Who moved you? Ha ha! Ah, oh, there you are, you you slick whippersnappers. You moved on me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I was tagged by one Lucy Parsons. I don't usually do tags. I was supposed to have done another one a long time ago, and I can't remember who, what, when, where, nothing. It's that old age factor coming in, you know. But anyway, I was tagged with some questions by this young lady, and it goes something like this. Question number one, what was my best year at school? Let me see. What's school? Oh, it must have been before my time. Uh, two, what haircut would I like to pull off? Go ahead, punk. Make my day. Of course, that wasn't exactly close enough. Clint Eastwood. I love that man's hair. I'd like to have his hair. Really cool hair. I mean, it's just perfect. Okay, next question. What character from a movie would I like to be? That's easy. The dude from uh, The Big Lebowski. That movie? Yeah. I like him. He's so cool and laid back. You know what I'm saying, man? It's really cool, man. It really is. I'm not too fond of the language use in the movie, but the basic character, coolness. Okay. Uh, make up a word. Make up a word? Hmm. Mia. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody walks up to you and says, "How's you doing?" Yeah. Yeah, that work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that is a word. I said so. It's a word. Okay, amusement park or bed? <sighs> yes. If you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Songbird, Stevie Nicks, uh, from uh, Fleetwood Mac. Love that song. It just... It just gets me, you know? Really. I mean, there's a lot of songs, but I had to pick one song, so that's what I did. Last question is, what is something about me not many people know? Okay, I'm going to have to swear you people to privacy on this. Secrecy. The ultimate secrecy. That's right. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Pink, pinky, pinky promise. Okay, now, fist bump, there, okay, uh, let's see, okay, how do I put this delicately, I was a professional hooker, seriously, but it's not what you think, it's not, I worked at an industrial laundry, and uh, my, my co-worker, 
She said, I was the best hooker she's ever worked with. Well, anyway, you, you, t you take these bed sheets, you take the corners, and you hook them on the arms of this machine, and you push a button, and it takes the bed sheet and sucks it into the machine, and <laughs> pops out the other side all pressed and folded and really neat and cool. So yes, that was my official title, a hooker. You heard it from me, the day man. He's a day man. He's a day.